Expo, the most important thing about the Concealed Carry Expo is the education aspect of what we're doing. We want people to be absolutely educated from top to bottom. They need to know exactly what they can and can't do and what they should and shouldn't do if they're faced with a deadly force situation. And the USCCA provides education, training, and then self-defense insurance. Because if you're involved in a deadly force situation, you're going to get arrested. You're going to go to court and you're going to need proper legal representation. And the trailer is a standard 53-foot stout with AR-500 armor on all six sides. That armor is basically what the military uses. We can take up to 3,600 feet per second, which is essentially a 30-odd six can be fired in there. Range is hot. So the great thing about the UTM system is, is that in real life, I know that this is a big taboo and uh, law enforcement, go ahead and pull the trigger. So as you guys can see, there's absolutely no marks on my hand. There was no muzzle flash, there was no heat transfer, there was nothing. The weapon functioned completely as normal. We're, we're fighting for the gun. We're, we're two guys. He drew his weapon from his holster and I came in and I actually grabbed the top of the slide. So go ahead and act like we're, we're struggling. So you, you have your finger, go ahead and pull the trigger now. You see what happens whenever, so you shot your first round and go ahead and show them. You can see here. The ability to be able to be up close and personal, this is what happens. Whenever someone grabs the slide, now I'll, his next step is going to have to be tap rack after he gets me to remove my hand. He did get his one round off, which will create space, but that gives his self ability. Now he has to clear it. What I'm going to have you do is start out two rounds on target. You're going to serpentine and move through. Whenever you get to this side, you're going to engage target two rounds. They always come to me after they would get in trouble. And so what I've tried to do is set up sort of a preemptive program that I can sit down with people and help them with our state planning needs and gun trusts and help them understand what the laws are with concealed carry in the different states, especially Texas, so they don't get in trouble. Uh, you know, Texas are very pro-gun, so people have the idea, oh, I can just do anything. And it's only after they get in trouble that they come to me. And in reality, while Texas is very open, they give a lot of rights to you, they also, every time they, they free up a right, they have a bunch of contingencies on that that you have to follow. And a lot of people just don't understand what those are and get themselves into trouble. It's just, it breaks away, it hides, it looks normal, it goes under your belt. It's right there. Did you invent it? Yes, five patents on it. Yeah, we'll see. Necessity is the mother of invention. That's correct, and that's exactly what it was, because 30 years I carried oh, yeah. and the like hard way, and I carried and I pinch. It's always jamming. It's jamming but me. Right but here is where you want to draw from, but right. you can't carry that. What are we all selling? Concealed weapon handbags for women and gun toting mamas. So tell me about your handbags. Um, they're all ambidextrous. They all have a slash resistant uh, strap. So if you can imagine like a piano wire that goes through it. So anywhere from um, American Cowhide to Bison to the CZY series, which has just taken off and been huge this year. Um, this is a distressed buffalo um, leather. And then everything that you see see on this table is new coming out for 2000 uh, late spring early summer for 2017